line where dozens of students walked out of class twice today to show support for a student who was the victim of racism. The students say the school did not do enough after racist videos surfaced. WBZ's David Robichaux has our story tonight. Chanting, we are BHS, hundreds of Brookline High students walked out of class at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Who gave you the privilege to ever say that word? She's talking about the former and current students who posted a video on social media using the N-word. You said what you said and you meant it. Uh -huh. Don't try to get everybody to pity you. This was your word. Yeah. Take account for your action. Uh -huh. Some students say school officials were aware of the video last week, but students and parents weren't notified until after it went viral. I thought that the letter was only brought out to parents because of how much publicity the school is getting as of right now. It's not just some students who are critical of the way the school administration has handled this issue. The Brookline Justice League says there's a history here of the school system covering things up. They keep things hush hush and try to let it blow over, protect the reputation of the school and the town. And they don't, don't deal with it unless they have to. The superintendent, who waded into the crowd to address students briefly this morning, says the system has handled things properly. But it's really, it is that charge to accelerate and redouble um, our efforts because it, it, this, this is about everyone's individual dignity and humanity. We are not the kind of high school that lets this stuff slip mm -hmm. and that lets it slide. Mm -hmm. We are the kind of high school who is the school on the hill and we show people mm -hmm. how to be better. The superintendent says state laws prohibit him from announcing what penalties, if any, have been doled out to the people involved. In Brookline, I'm David Robichaux, WBZ News.